Hey everyone, how you doing? It's Liam from Pushthware, and I have something a little bit different for you all today. Now, as I'm sure so many of you are already aware, Final Fantasy VII Remake has finally released for the PlayStation 4. Now, so many of you have no doubt already played this, but I haven't really ever gotten into Final Fantasy VII before, to be honest. I watched my cousin play most of it, especially the Midthar section when I was a kid. So for me, I don't really have a huge amount of nostalgia for Final Fantasy VII, but I did play the demo a few weeks ago when it launched on the PlayStation Store, and I absolutely loved what I played. So I'm desperate to play a bit more, so I've already played up to the point where that demo ends, and now I'm just gonna play a little bit past that point. We're gonna see what it's like, we're gonna see what happens, and we're gonna see whether or not I can be convinced about Final Fantasy VII Remake. This video was sponsored by Square Enix, thank you very much for that. And with all that waffle out of the way, let's dive into the world of Final Fantasy VII Remake. Okay, so I've literally just blown up the first Mato Reactor, and I'm now here with uh, my best pals, my Ito terrorist pals. We're now trying to escape uh, undetected into the actual city of Midgar. So in Final Fantasy VII, you play as, obviously, Cloud Strife, someone who is capable of carrying a sword that is about the same length and size as him. These are a lovable bunch. Honestly, I've really fallen for them already. Attention all citizens. This is an alert from the Shinra Emergency Operations Center. Unidentified intruders have detonated a bomb inside Mako Reactor 1. Multiple explosions have been confirmed, as well as ongoing fire. In response, a disaster warning has been issued in sectors 1 and 8. No. No way. This couldn't have been us. Well, I mean, you did blow up a giant generator with a bomb, so you always know you're playing a Tetsuya Nomura game because of the amount of belts every character is wearing. Barrett is wearing, like, 500 belts right now? There are so many belts on that man. Okay, so we are now out of the reactor. We're now in the city, kind of just vibing in all of the chaos that we've caused. See ya. This theme is so pretty, <laughs> like, I can't get over just how stunning it looks. Like, every time I play a modern PS4 game, I'm always blown away, but this especially, like, that opening Mato Reactor section is unbelievable. Cloud's taller than I, I thought he would be. Hey, dude. Thought he's a big lad. No wonder he can carry a sword that big when he's, like, 11 feet tall. I don't like how sinister I look behind this guy. But I do like this guy's flat tap. He's just representing the north of England here. I always appreciate that. There's like the real sense of place here. It's incredible. Okay, thank you. Whoa. Man, we really did a number on this city. Sorry about that. I feel like... If I saw this much destruction, and then I just saw a lad with really big, baddie trousers, two belts, and a sword as big as he was, just wandering around, I, I'd probably be, I'd be a little suspicious. Oh. This looks like the flashback. Oh, there he is! There's the boy! Oh, he's done. That's a shame. Oh, nope! <laughs> Sport too soon! <laughs> Hello, he's even taller than I am! He must be like, easily 15 feet tall! That tall and that much luxurious long silver hair? Man, Severoth's the dude. See, this is more so how I would walk with a sword that big strapped to my back. I'm saying that, I'd be lying down and it would probably suffocate me, but I'd try, I'd really try. The character design and just the fidelity on the faces is crazy good. Sephiroth is like a top tier anime villain. I'm a big fan. He's got everything. He's got the monologues. He's got the sinister voice. He's just got the perfect long silver hair. He's 18 feet tall. And what else do you want from a villain? Oh, maybe I'm not that tall, actually. He's about my height. Maybe I was just standing next to a very small man. So I watched Final Fantasy VII Advent Children years and years and years ago when I was at university with my flatmate who 
absolutely adored Final Fantasy VII. And I remember watching that and thinking about how incredible the graphics were. And this looks better than that. That's, I mean, look at that. I just taunted over how nice this looks. Graphically, it's gorgeous. Yeah, and like I said before, you're not exactly, you know, blending in with the crowd. <laughs> For starters, you're the only lad with any kind of weapon, never mind one. 10 feet tall, rib roast, 15.99, and wheel sausage, 4.99. Chut the shoulder stick, 9.99, that's pretty good. Meat Martyr, fresh Meat Martyr, well that's my favourite kind of Meat Martyr. Telephone, 8555 meat, I'll remember that. Oh, it's Aerith. Oh no, she's being haunted by spoopy entities. Hey, you alright? Oh. No, you're not alright. Hey, okay? Yeah, I'm fine. Didn't you not see the 18 foot silver haired man next to you? No? Okay. Here. This is for you. Oh. A flower? That's right. It's a gift. You know, for scaring those things away. Look. I'm involved in things. Dangerous things. Oh, I'm sure you are. <laughs> That's a great reaction to that. No one's going to attack you. I promise. I mean, I did just blow up, like, this big reactor. Mako reactor just blew. Yeah, and I was responsible for it, so... Oh, Dementors. Oh, no. Aerith. Nice meeting you. You too. Don't... I hope that's not an issue for you. Alright, let's get into Tombat. So, the Tombat in this game is amazing. I'm obsessed with how good it feels to play. Uh, it's very, like, hat and slashy when you're playing as Cloud. But every once in a while, once your gauge fills up, you can press X and you can choose to perform abilities. And time slows down, which gives you enough time to choose them, which is just... It's really inspired. Like, this is the best part of the whole game. So, I can do Braver and I can go on to Security Officer D. And Cloud will do a special move, which is super powerful. So as I'm fighting, that gauge throws up all the time, and it lets me do uh, spells as well. So for example, I can do fire. Let's attack the security officer B with this fire. Or I can just use traditional uh, real-time hat and slash combat. It just feels so good to use. When you've got multiple people in your party, earlier I was playing with Barrett as well, swapping between characters, pausing time to use your special moves. It just feels so seamless. It's really, really wonderful to play. No. Oh, okay. Ah, just <laughs> rolling around here. Right, so I can use this and the abilities. Fortress Thrust and Security Officer B. Ooh, that did a lot of damage. Okay, just this Grenadier left. Let's dead him. Easy. I mean, you gotta sold that bid. It's super easy. What's this? You obtained an orb of deadly dodge materia. What does that do? Okay, so on my Buster Sword, I can swap out my materia. Okay, so I've got a fire materia which lets me use fire and my cure materia which lets me use cure to heal myself. So if I remove that materia, what does deadly dodge do? Attack command will do area damage immediately after dodging. Okay, let's try that out instead of fire. So I'm not using fire that much. Oh, let's kill these dogs. Ah, so I can do... Ah, nice. We just like an attack out of a dodge now. That's pretty cool. Okay, so let's do braver on the dog dog. Let's dead him. Nice. Watch out for that other one. Ah, there's a guy shooting at me. Oh, right. Stathered. That lets me do a lot of additional damage. It looks like 160% damage. So this should finish off the dot. Nice. Sorry. I really don't like killing dots in video games. In my defense, you are a very freakish mutant dot with a tail coming out of its net. So I'm not, I don't feel that bad, actually, now that I've seen you properly. Uh, Braver on the dog. That should finish it off. Oh, no, it didn't. Oh, he's cleaning on. Don't worry, I'll put you out your misery. Okay, let's let the security officer. Easy peasy. Got some nice rewards from that. Oh, it's just so good. The combat just feels amazing. Look at these British telephone boxes. It's quite a nice touch. I suppose it does have, like, kind of a British... Oh, definitely a European feel, actually. That's very European. Sorry, I assume you're all watching this for my architectural comments. I'm gonna there's Dodd. I don't like these Dodds. They frighten me. Their smud aura mots me. Ah! Okay, right, I am about to die. So let's cure me up. 
thanks for waiting there lads <laughs> appreciate you giving me the opportunity to heal myself before i absolutely just smash it a bit right let's let this dart nope i missed that that's on me i'm sorry that's all on me I then also press triangle to change my like weapon stance, and I do like twice as much damage, but he moves very, very slow when I do that. Oh, leveled up. Nice. Oh, there's more dudes. There's more dudes. Oh, these grenadiers are a bit annoying, so let's get rid of these. Ah! I'm running out of health then. Okay, let's use an item. Let's use a high potion. Why not? Let this be to full health. Even the music gets me excited, even though I have such a limited amount of, like, nostalgia for the music. I just think Final Fantasy VII has ingrained itself into popular culture so much that I think everyone just has, like, this collective shared memory of it. The remaster definitely holds up if you've only got, like, the passing knowledge of the original. Like, I feel like the game is accommodating even to losers like me who prefer Final Fantasy VIII. Okay, I'm gonna use a limit break on this shot trooper which is a very very powerful move and i'm sorry that's so overkill oh how did they find me and recognize me me the boy with the spiky blonde hair and the huge sword <laughs> and the baddy trousers i think the baddy trousers are out of everything he's wearing the bravest fashion choice and honestly i respect it i love it and i wish i could pull it off but people won't let me oh Oh, that was cool. That was really badass. <laughs> if I saw a man run towards me with a sword the size of me, I would simply lie down on the floor and give up immediately. Oh, okay. So these grenadiers, can't let them get too far away from me. They're weak, but they pat the punch when they actually do hit me. Okay, there's two shield lads. So what I'm going to do now is, is I'm going to... Uh, bath away, and then I'm going to go spells, fire, riot trooper? Well, that was better. That was much easier. Well, let's just do that then. Why, why wouldn't I do that then? That is so powerful. Yeah, I don't know why I ever got rid of my fire materia. I wish this battle theme played no matter what I was doing. When I get out of bed and I'm brushing my teeth, battle theme. When I'm doing the dishwasher, battle theme. When I'm just literally just sitting, staring at a wall, battle theme. Oh, sorry. Sorry about this. Sorry. 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 I'm trying to get the Sorry. Sorry. I'm trying to get the Sorry. Oh, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'll pit the I'm trying to get the chest. I'm sorry. I'm trying to... I'm trying to sort... That's fine. That's fine. You can barely tell. You can't even tell I was here. Don't worry about it. Oh, sorry. So are these, like, domesticated? Like, do people have these dogs in their house? Like, do people come home from work and they've just got one of these monstrosities waiting for them by the door? Just, like, wadding their net tail in excitement? I don't know whether I could do that, man. I mean, I love dogs, but these are... These are very... Ah, that's gonna hurt. That's really gonna hurt me. Let's not do that. Thank you. Oh, he got... Oh, he really got me there. Oh! Every time I open up a chest, I keep expecting him to tap it with his sword, like Sora does with his tea in Tindom Hearts. Well, this doesn't look good. Oh, this looks pretty bad. Not as much as I'm done here. Oh. There's a lot of dudes. Yeah, I've got a feeling that I'm not going to be the one who does badly in this situation. Oh, I immediately got hit. <laughs> okay, right. So, we've got some APB. Let's get some fire onto the... Where's the right trooper? There he is. Ban. Yeah, burn is a pretty accurate way of saying what just happened to him. Right, let's kill these Grenadiers. Just absolutely destroyed them. I kind of feel sorry for these low-level grunts, actually. They just get thrown around like rad dolls. Uh, okay, right, so... Riot Trooper, you're not ready. You're literally about to die. I'm really sorry. The Huntsman. Who's this fella? Oh, he looks pretty powerful. Oh, he's got a Riot Bat on. Right, but I am going to use Fire on you, Huntsman. And that'll probably do... Well, not that much. Not that much damage. Right, we need to get that pressure gauge all the way up so we can do a lot of damage to him. So let's use another fire spell. Oh, what happened there? Did you... Oh, what's going on? Oh, he wants... Oh! That's so powerful! Come on, let's get that pressure gauge up. Nope. Nah, he got me. I could have dodged out the way there, but I just straight up didn't. Oh, wow! No, I was not paying attention to my health there at all. That is on me! Don't that hit? See, now, because he's staggered, I can do a braver move on him, and that's gonna just take off so much damage. Got you, Huntsman. Sorry about that. Oh, 
Barrett's just a nice dad, isn't he? Barrett is just everyone's lovely dad. Yeah, you did a really good job of just like disappearing in the crowd there, Barrett, with your mini dun arm and your one million belts. In my humble opinion, that explosion was a message. Sporting like the man who had nothing to do with the explosion. Okay, next chapter. Here we go. So this is the slums now. This is extremely good looking. I love this design of just a slum underneath a city. It's disgusting, but visually really cool. I know that this is meant to be like run down and it's meant to be like, you're in a slum and this is like how people who live in poverty are eating. But I have 100% bought a burger that cost 18 pound from a van that looked exactly like this and it did not come with chips. They were eight pound extra. The variety between areas already is super cool. Like, this place all being run down and disgusting and dry. It's just really interesting already. Just like the sense of place. It's fascinating to me. There she is. There's Tifa. See, he's a tearing dad. I don't know how he tucks his daughter into bed at night with that mini gun for an arm, but... He's a good dad anyway. Where'd you get that? I can't remember the last time I saw a real one. Huh? Would you believe me if I told you I saved a woman from ghosts? Kind of. And then I didn't. Remember E3 2019 when Tifa came on the screen at the Stwarinitz conference and everyone just lost their minds? That's one of my all-time favourite E3 moments of just how Tifa in general made everyone just scream for like three solid minutes. Even the voice acting is really good. Like, it's very, very hammy and very anime. There's a lot of, like, <gasps> and <laughs> noises. But in general, well acted. I really like it. Hello? Sir, hello? That's not normal behaviour. You don't do that. You don't just walk in someone else's room. Why would you do that? Oh, my neighbour is Sephiroth! That's a great idea for a sitcom, to be fair. <laughs> well, this is the classic hijinks I would expect from an episode of My Neighbour Sephiroth. Okay, I think that's all we have time for, but I absolutely love this game. It's really good fun, the combat is fantastic, graphically it is stunning. Final Fantasy VII Remake is available to purchase right now on PlayStation 4. If you're still not sure, if you're on the fence a bit like I was, you can download the demo as well. See what you think, have a little door. I'm sure you'll love it. If you enjoyed this video, I know it's a little bit different to what we've been doing for the past few months, but if you enjoyed it, please give us a like and make sure to subscribe to Push Square for everything PlayStation. Thank you to Square Enix for sponsoring this video, and thank you for watching.